how to create a beautiful cloud patterns watch in Adobe Illustrator. So first we want to activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. From here we want to draw the cloud and for this I'm going to zoom in a little bit to the grid. Now pick the ellipse tool and fill out one of these squares with a circle. Hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle. Then pick the selection tool, hold down the alt key to duplicate and move the copy half a square to the side. Like this. Then hold down the shift key while scaling and scale the circle up like this. Until it reaches the edge right here. So now once again hold down the alt key to duplicate and move the copy of this circle so that the middle of the circle aligns with this line right here. This time scale the circle up until it reaches this line right here. Then select a small circle, hold down the alt key to duplicate and move the copy all the way to the other side until it aligns with the edge of the largest circle right here. Then pick the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from the middle of this circle right here. Go up a tiny bit and all the way to the other end until it reaches the middle of this circle right here. This is just to close off all these holes we had in the bottom. Now pick the selection tool, select all the shapes, go to the pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the pathfinder panel right here. Then go to this button right here that says Unite. And here we have our cloud. So now we just need to turn this cloud into a pattern swatch which repeats seamlessly. For this zoom out a little bit. And now we don't need the grid anymore. So disable the grid by going to view, go to hide grid, then go to view again and remember to uncheck snap to grid. Then pick the selection tool. And just to begin our pattern swatch, we are going to create a temporary layout with the clouds. So take this cloud right here and move it a little bit to the side. Now make some copies of this cloud and spread them out a little bit, like this. The exact placement isn't important. Just spread them out a little bit and make sure there's no clouds lining up horizontally or vertically. Now select all the clouds, go to objects, go to pattern and go to make. And if you want, we can zoom out a little bit just to get a better feel of the pattern. Now pick the selection tool and adjust the clouds placements until you are happy. For instance, I think these two clouds are too close to each other. Therefore, I can move this cloud. The same goes right here. Now to make the pattern more interesting, we can scale some of the clouds up and down just to get a little bit of variation. Adjust the placements again if necessary. And if you need to, it's totally fine to make some of the clouds spill out of this rectangle right here. The copies will just fill in in the other side, right here. Now when you like the layout of the clouds, to make the pattern a little bit more detailed, we are going to add some variation to the opacity of the clouds. I prefer having the bigger clouds at high opacity and the smaller clouds at low opacity. So this one at 100% and these smaller ones, for instance these ones, we can lower the opacity of these ones to 60% and as you can see they get a little bit more hazy. Now for instance we can pick these two and lower these to 80% and you can play with this as you want but when you are happy with the opacities, select all the clouds, select the stroke and disable the stroke. We were just using the stroke until now, so we could see the clouds. As you can see right here, they are invisible when they are white in white. So now click done and delete these placeholder clouds. Then we can pick the fill, select the rectangle tool and draw a shape just to test out our pattern. So for this first rectangle, select the background color, then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front and fill this shape with our pattern swatch. And here we have our beautiful cloud pattern.